Hi, everybody. Welcome to Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Eastern Conference, Western Conference collision. They don't see each other much. Does that create a tentativeness then? It can, for sure, because you don't really know other than video how that team's going to play. You haven't played against those players very much, so you'll get into the game, feel it out, and then I think it's a fun game to play. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Oilers start with possession as we are now underway. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Quick feed to Nurse. Slides the puck ahead to Barry. Quick pass to McDavid. And that banks off a stick. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck heads out of play. Latang's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Oilers have it now. Through center along the wing. Pass across to McDavid. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. The Oilers slide it through center. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Look out, a two-on-one. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Sends the pass over. Edmonton's on the attack. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And that one's turned away. The Oilers have it against the wall. And that's a smart heads up play by Kapanen. From the right side and up the middle. Gets a glove on it to make the save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Edmonton swung the face off deep in their own end. And that's off a stick. And it's a quick pass to CeCe. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. The Penguins gain control of the puck. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Puck grabbed by Aston Reese. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Intercepted the pass. And now it's grabbed by Fogel. Came up with the save on that play. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. Here comes the puck back, and they're gonna go. Yeah, he accepts the challenge. This looked like it was gonna start over the last 10 or 15 seconds. Well, I guess that's that. That's that, and it's pretty clear, James, who had the upper hand. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on their way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnybrook. The Penguins take possession off the face-off. And it comes up with the save! The Oilers move it ahead. Gets the puck in deep. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Fails to find the open man. Scooped up by Heinen. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Marino's physical play will put him among the league leaders in hits year after year. Past the halfway mark of this period, 
Still looking for our first goal. Crosby's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Perlini's got it in the defensive end. And he regains control of the puck. Ryan's got it along the boards. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gives it right back. Takes the pass and works the cycle down low. And he denied that opportunity. Smith's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. This is a really good save here. But I think what's important is the goalies and the goalie coaches love that it's not a spectacular one. That's positionally better than the shooter's shot. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Poked away in the offensive end. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. The Penguins have it from their own end. Sends a pass over. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Nurse. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Odd man rush. He scores! And Gino was his name! Oh, of Getty Malkin! The man advantage break is sprung here, and they execute it perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. The Penguins get themselves a big goal here in the late goings of this opening frame. Now with the lead, they'll try to nurse this into the intermission. Puck picked up by Matheson. Driving right to the front. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. And no luck on that pass attempt. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Matheson's on the receiving end of this huge hit. Sometimes you've got nowhere to go. Here in the late goings of the period, 1-0 the score. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. They've got the puck now. He's got a tired defensive group to play against. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Shore. Inside the final minute of the first here. Slides the puck across to Matheson. The Oilers ready to go on the attack. Moves it to Turris. Takes a hit on the play. Here's a chance. On the breakaway. Stays with it for the save. He was all over this deep. A nice move, but the goaltender is right on it. The hard sounds of the first period comes to an end. 1-0 is the score as both teams make their way to their respective rooms. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Scooped up along the wall by Gensel. Broken up in the neutral zone by Dreisaitl. Hyman's on the attack in the offensive zone. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Takes control of the puck. That goes off a twig. Taken along the wall by Gensel. And we'll get a whistle as the puck goes out of bounds after that stop. Lots of time left in this period. Pittsburgh's up one zip. 
Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. Handles the puck. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Hyman's moving it ahead. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Hyman's got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to get around the defender. Just can't quite complete the move. And he comes up with it. Jari's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. A little disappointing for the shooter here. You take what you think is a pretty good shot, and the goalie kind of easily sticks it aside. Doesn't feel very good. The Oilers win it. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Great defensive play at center by Nugent Hopkins. Taken by Nurse. And the puck leaves the zone. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Shot right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Aston Reese gets a shot. A decent scoring chance here, but he's been serving five minutes for fighting. He must be cold. Try Seidel's bobblehead. Let's take a closer look at this. And here it is on your screen here. They did a fantastic job. I mean, look at the personality and the charm. They brought this all in glory bobblehead fashion. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Takes it into the slot. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. Pittsburgh's got possession here in their own end. Intercepted at center by Keith. Fires it into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Here we go, odd man rush here. Comes up with a monster save in front. Cassian's got it into offensive territory. Makes the save! The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Slides the puck across to Gensel. Quick feed to Rust. To the front! Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Charging the call, you can really see this one coming a mile away. I thought he was going to let up on the hit. You see how far he travels to make it, but he decided to finish it. Now he'll finish the next two minutes in the box. Gensel's got an opportunity to help the power play score here, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get them going. Let's see how it goes here. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Smith's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. Carter's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, great save by Smith. After that stop, puck goes out of play. We got a face-off looming. Ryan's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the face-off. The Penguins win the face-off. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Good work for the power play here. They take advantage of having the extra man by winning the faceoff, holding possession, and then the puck ends up in the net. That's great work. now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. 
And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And he makes the save. Receives the pass. They've got the defense outnumbered. And that's picked off in front. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. He's got to read the scene much better than that. You're already ahead in the game. Don't turn it over and give up scoring chances. The Penguins take it across the blue line. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And the whistle stops the play. And someone's off to the box. Interference the call. Can you argue this one? Well, you can argue anything, James, but that's fair. That's an interference penalty. The Penguins send their men advantage unit out once more. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Turris. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. And that pass attempt is deflected. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Oilers will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they'll dump it in. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Rust. And he takes a shot. Denies him on the play. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And that's intercepted by Cuckoo. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Not exactly how the coach drew that one up. We'll get a face off. Replay gives you the same result as live time. Goalie turns away a good scoring chance. Crosby's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Shores won it. Errant pass, and they can't connect. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. Oh, and that's got the crowd bussing after that stop. Stops them again. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Throws it in. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Mulkin's got it across the line. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. Gains the zone through the middle. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Passes it over to Mulkin. Takes it to the net. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. He doesn't stop moving for a second. Once that puck's delivered to him, he's thinking shot. He shoots the snapper while he's moving, and the goalie doesn't catch up to it. When he skates like that and gets his shot off while in motion, he can transfer that momentum into his release as we just saw. His make it snappy superstar ability was the driving force behind that goal. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Dished on over to McGinn. Hammers one. Big time save on a big time shot. Gensel's become a 200 foot player. Coaches love to talk about guys that are effective at both ends of the ice. If you are, you'll be on this list of plus-minus leaders. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Penguins now lead by three. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now he angles it across to Rodriguez. Dry Seidel's gaining momentum. Moves it to Hyman. And they won't connect on that one. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Bluger. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Whoa! He scores! What a run of play this has been. Four straight goals for them. They have not taken their foot off the gas at all. 
He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. The Oilers are gonna make a change in goal. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. The Penguins with another goal here late in the second. I don't know if they want this period to end, though. No, this is a fun zone for them. They have scored almost at will. They've set up for a really comfortable third. Quick feed to Carter. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. His reflexes on display tonight. Crosby's notorious for shooting on the backhand. It's something he practices because he knows that shot is difficult for goalies to read, guys. His beauty backhand zone ability means he loves to score when he gets the chance to go to that side. And let's see if he does it here tonight. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Here's a shot! Tremendous stop by Koskinen! And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. See the official arena website for details on upcoming concerts. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Takes a shot. Quick pass to Gensel. Dreisaitl's back in the play after getting a new stick at the bench. Couldn't complete the pass. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's been demolition derby night. Four nothing is where we sit. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Dreisaitl. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Zucker. Hammers it on net. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it. Gets in the net, that's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. What a play by him to set up that goal, guys. His superstar ability was on full display and he skates away with the assist. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. Gates of the crease. That's off a stick. Grabbed along the boards by Kapanen. Can't find his man. Keeps hold of the puck. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, another consecutive stop. Picked up along the wall by Puyo Yarvi. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Now over to Nugent Hopkins. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Scooped up along the wall by Fogel.
And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Quick pass to Carter. Taken along the wall by Aston Reese. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Right in the low slot. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Five zip is where we sit. This thing has been a one-sided contest. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And that's picked off. Pittsburgh's defense has been exceptional. They've defended well, kept the front of the net clean, and whenever there's a rebound, they get it out of there fast. Moves it to Perlini. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. And now it's over to Ryan. Looking to set up offensively. Here he is in close. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Oh, there's one more. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Perlini's lugging the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Gensel. The Oilers have it now. Great block on the play. Moves it quickly over to Dumoulin. Hammers the shot! Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Rust. Sends it in deep. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Now a quick pass to Dreisaitl. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. Quick pass to Hyman. And there's the save. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Puts it towards the net. Denies him with the pad. Seattle's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's next. Some guys want to know everything in advance. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Shoots it. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. Here in the later stages of this period, we are in blowout territory right now. It's 5 0. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Stays with it. Pushes it across to Fogel. The Penguins have it against the wall. And that's poked away by Puyo Yarvi. Here's a shot. Traps that puck tight into his chest. Jari's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Let's get another look at this defensive play here. He knows they're in scramble mode, and he lays down to block the shot. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Takes the shot, stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nugent Hopkins moves it ahead. Turns the puck over, great read defensively there. Big save just as time runs out. And there it is, the final horn. Ray, what a run between the pipes right now. The shutout streak continues. It's not just on the goalie, it's the guys in front of them. 
but he has been red hot. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.